Differentiation is super important because not everyone is at the same level. We have uh, kids who are way up there and we have kids that are way down there and I'm trying to teach here in the middle. Okay, so the ones who are very high level are bored. The ones that are real down here, they're getting frustrated because they're, they're not getting it. But Khan Academy has given me a little bit of an edge here of, of, tr of trying to meet those needs. Everyone works at a different level, like a different pace, and this is pretty much at your own pace. Khan Academy frees me up to be able to work with kids at all levels, pretty much all at the same time because I can group those kids and allow them to work on a higher level or remediate while I've got students doing other things. And then what's the principle? The principle is for um, Specifically for reteaching and remediation, I, I look at my reports a lot. I use data a lot to drive my instruction and to drive what I need to reteach. It helps me monitor a little bit closer as opposed to uh, just assume that everyone is, is correct. It tells me exactly where that student is. It tells me how many attempts have they have done it specifically. So there's real data telling me, hey, this student is getting it wrong. Let's say a student is missing on integers. I can assign it just for that one kid and I can monitor it that way. And it's beautiful because then they can be like, wait a minute, you're missing this idea. And I get to see what they're doing wrong or I can actually help intervene at that point. For differentiation, after I assign an assignment and the kids have submitted it, I will go into the reports tab and I can look at the scores of each individual student um, based on that assignment. And then from there, I can create those small groups that I need to go back and review. And I can see which questions they missed or what standards they missed. So I know, okay, this group of students needs to work on this specific standard, or these students need to work on um, procedural fluency. Another group might be they're working on just comprehension on, on word problems. Like that's, that's big for a lot of them. When I'm looking to differentiate, there will be times where I might pull a small group aside and have them work on a set of problems or watch a video from Khan Academy while we're working on an extension activity with another group who has demonstrated knowledge of that given standard. Khan Academy really allows for a small group to be working on their own, even without an instructor right by their side um, because of the way that we can see that they're doing what we want them to do. I have a student who uh, has gone up three or four grade levels above what I teach algebra. And that's amazing. And he is content, he is happy. He also engages in my lesson, which is good. And then you have students who are maybe two or three grades below, and I'm even able to go ahead and assign two or three grade levels at their own level. And they're able to do it, and they feel successful because then that way I'm not losing them and that's what I want.